Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. Erica is off tonight. We begin with breaking news in the northwest suburbs. A well-being check uncovers a horrific scene. The bodies of five people inside one home. I mean, you see people moments before and then they're gone. The gruesome discovery tonight in Buffalo Grove. That's where CBS 2's Jermont Terry is live with the latest on the investigation and what neighbors are saying tonight. Jermont. Joe, there's shock and confusion in this neighborhood. When police arrived, no one expected for them to find to find five likely children as well included as dead inside of a home. Now tonight, as police figure out the how, neighbors are left wondering why. Wednesday night, police lights outshine the holiday lights in Buffalo Grove. I don't know how to fully react just because it's so close to home. Neighbors left for work only to return home to this crime scene. I grew up here, so it's just so, it, you know, shocking. Buffalo Grove police tell us they got a call to Acacia Terrace off Fort Clinton to check on the woman. When cops arrived to the house, it was clear something was not right. Officers forced their way inside to find a total of five people dead from the apparent murder-suicide. Neighbors tell CBS2 children lived here too. I don't know exactly how old, but definitely like elementary school. It's believed all five are from the same family. Police have not said how the murders happened or who they believe committed the crime. Neighbors tell me police have been called to the home before, but no one expected this. You know, it's like trying to retrace like interactions or did you notice anything and all those things kind of run through your mind. As police investigate, this quiet community is now rocked to its core. How do we move on from this or how do we cope as a community? The deaths of five is hard enough, but knowing the youngest victims are likely children leave many to think of what was ripped away. Those kids are supposed to outlive you, outlive their parents, um, have families of their own, and it's just cut short. Now, police have been in this neighborhood all day, and here it is in the 10 o'clock hour. They still have this block roped off. Now, they are insisting that there is no threat to this community. We should point out that the Lake County Ta Major T Crime Task Force is assisting in this investigation. Um, they have not released the ages and or the names of those found inside the home, nor have they told us the manner in which these five people died. Reporting live in Buffalo Grove tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Joe? Just an awful story. Jermont, thank you. We'll learn more, I'm sure, tomorrow.